One of the hardest hitting high flyers around. Ready for takeoff. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Santos Escobar is such a dangerous competitor. He came up in Mexico City's lucha scene. Escobar has always been a standout talent from fighting in the underground to the highest heights in NXT. A background in lucha tradition, but ready to make his own moves to the top of WWE. When Escobar joined WWE, he arrived here under a mask, but he quickly put the past behind him. He evolved. He became the superstar we know today. That change seems like a very good one for Santos. One of the greatest Lucha Libre stars around. We are about to see high flying exemplified. And his opponent representing the LWO from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Mysterio. Ray Mysterio has never, ever been afraid of competition. He's never going to back down. He's the biggest little man in the history of WWE. With Santos Escobar, you really can never tell what's going through his head or what his intentions are. It's because he's smarter than everyone else, Cole. Escobar has a killer instinct and knows what it takes to be at the top of WWE. Santos is set on forging his own path and no longer following in the footsteps of his former idols. There's no doubt that Santos is focused on causing damage to anyone, whether that's friend or foe. But Rey Mysterio has made a career out of defying expectations and overcoming any obstacle that stands in his way. And he doesn't plan on stopping that tonight. Oh, yeah, you cannot keep Mysterio down, and you cannot count him out. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Oh, he retaliates. Hey. Oh. What type of game plan can we expect to see from Rey Mysterio here tonight, Corey? I don't know if Mysterio ever sticks to one plan. He seems to approach every opponent with a different viewpoint, which is what has made him so successful. That level of research and preparation for an opponent is something that sets Rey apart from the rest of the pack. A cross body from the middle rope. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Escobar turns it around. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, jumpy DDT. My. Oof. Yeah. What a counter. Savage knee to the face. Vicious right forearm. All the way up. Across the top rope. Stun gun. Watch this Herculean power. Deadlift back. He can end it here. Pushes through after two. Not yet. Oof. And Escobar didn't see that coming. Missed timing with that springboard. A uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. He's able to fend off the attack. Expected that one. Chop. And Mysterio beginning to really be worn down here. 
Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Escobar is picking the competition apart. Mysterio's fairy tale is looking dark, gentlemen. And they just into the cover. <laughs> only a one count before the kick out. And those kick outs are only going to get harder. Fails to connect on the springboard. Gouging at the face, this is gnarly. Come on, enough! That's not right. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. Oh, smashing the jaw. You've got to wonder if Ray can withstand this. Blend of that Lucha Libre style to the sky. A little style from the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Mysterio fending that off. Forearm oh. smash! Oh, strong impact! Does he get him here? Able to stop the pin count here. the haymaker. An utterly relentless attack from Escobar. Ray's got to find a way to defend himself. Yes! Destroyer connects! For the win! Two! No! Kick out at two! I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Mysterio with a wrist lock. Watch this athleticism and agility. Walking oh, yeah. the ropes! My goodness! I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Look at this! Oof! Exchange that for a power bomb. Shoulders down! Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. He just won't give up. Man. Ooh. Drop kick right on point. To sidestep it. He must have seen that coming. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Mysterio with great evasion. Moved at the right time. Chop. Escobar with a to Escobar has this wrapped up. Two. He manages to kick out. What strength. I absolutely thought it was three, but you can never count Ray out. We all thought it was over. Everyone but Mysterio, that is. And you got to think that all the plans are out the window after that. Oh, face first. And he's able to reverse. Sequence of reversals there. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Calf kick right on point. We are seeing these men leaving it all on the line. No stone being left unturned. Everything the body can give has been brought to the table. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. High risk area up there. Bad situation here. And it's about to get worse from the middle row. Avalanche gut. This is it. Got it. No, just a two. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. He fends off the attack. A German suplex. Escobar finally creates some more offense for himself. Yeah, but Escobar needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Oh. What a kick. Able to avoid there. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Ray saw that coming. Springboard misses the target. Big forearm. Escobar with a 
Connecting with the Phantom Driver. Mysterio couldn't avoid the big shot. Lift off. A big height, bigger impact. Is it enough? The cover. Two count. Oh my God, he's still in the match. He got the shoulder up right at the last moment. He knows how to avoid contact. A running hurricane run. Oh, great counter. Perfect position. Here we go. And then whipping him to the mat. Escobar showing no fear up there. Take off. Frog splash nailed it. be kidding me just one step ahead both competitors showing how well they know one another ray saw that coming a running hurricane Rana. beautiful this match has been history in the making this is insane oh. smash kick to the gut set up canadian destroyer pure ruthlessness from santos escobar if you want to carry on a tradition, it helps to hit moves like that. Placed in the corner. Dangerous spot for him to be in. Escobar looking for a home run shot here. And he may be... He may be in position to get it. Escobar! Major Hurricanrana. Big time counter. Stiff kick. The WWE Universe standing at attention. Completely in track. Oh, nice. Schoolboy from behind. Cover. Wards off the pin at two. How this match is still going on defies all reasoning. Great reaction from Santos. He knew that was coming. Counters that. And misses on the springboard. Oh, my God. Oh, you He's hitting me. Back of his neck. And he is saved by the ropes. Oh, man. Able to evade. Oh, my. Jumping for the win. No, stops the count at two. How in the world did he kick out? Here we go. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay. Paying the price of treating your own body like a human crash test dummy. Yes, Destroyer connects. Ray still looking on the top of his game. Oh, I heard a snap. Inflicting oh. more damage to the leg. And he had Ray's number there. Whip back into the ring. And up the turnbuckles we go. Look at this. Had it scouted, then turned it into a powerbomb. So powerful. Delivers the leg drop. Kick to the midsection. Setting them up. Canadian Destroyer! Man, this place is jumping. And it's a long way down from there. Santos Escobar. Something risky, something dangerous in mind. Oh, Lance Phantom Driver. Turn the lights out. Classic. And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. Here is your winner, Santos Escobar!
The WWE Universe showing their appreciation for this hard-earned victory. Ray just got beat here. Simple as that. It makes you wonder if he's questioning if he's still got it. Big forearm. Oh, no, 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 no! Power bomb across the barricade! Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Oh! Face first off the apron! Powerless position to be in right now. What impact! The Irish Ace, ready for a fight. The following contest is an elimination match and is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Introducing the challenger, representing the Judgment Day from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. Trained by Finn Balor, inherited that same killer instinct. And McDonough's absolutely not here to make friends. He's here just to fight and win. I don't think J.D. could make a friend even if he tried. Well, if J.D.'s the Irish ace, I guess that makes you the Joker, Saxton. Or maybe that rules card that everyone just throws out. Here is the originator of British Strong Style. And introducing the challenger from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Tyler may be all smiles backstage, but he brings the fight when it counts. Yeah, man has been proud to represent an entire generation on a continent. He's proud of his past in the United Kingdom and Europe. But now he looks to conquer the world. He's a big, strong boy. Imagine what the future holds for this incredible young superstar. The Alpha Academy is open for business. We are about to see a clinic. And introducing the champion representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds. The WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Chad Gable. Chad Gable, proven ability to teach and lead as the head of the Alpha Academy. Not 
someone you want to take lightly, despite his catchphrases. Now, we've seen this guy deadlift men more than double his size on multiple occasions. Gable's more than proven he's a legitimate threat in that ring. A title coveted by legends and hungry young talent alike. Championship action underway here. Only one superstar can come out on top tonight. Only one superstar will be able to raise that title when all is said and done in this elimination contest. And we're in for a good one with J.D. McDonough, Tyler Bates, and Chad Gable. What a risky situation to defend your championship in. You got to be the main target for each of your opponents in the ring and a prime candidate for first elimination. The champion gets a shoulder up just before two. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. The Rowdy Buster. Big four. Oh my God, a close line. Oh, walloped by a huge club. I don't know what they're looking for here. Placed into the corner. He can do it here. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Got to change something up with the pin technique. Oh, hit by a flying stop sign. That had to hurt. Triple threats are so mentally and physically draining. How do you keep the pressure from getting to you, Corey? In a triple threat, you have to play offense and deep the cover. cover. Kick out for the challenger. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the face. My God. And the knee. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the... Uh oh this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. Abdominal stretch. Fighting out of this. Get in on them fast. And what a reversal from Chad Gable. German suplex. And JD gets that turn back on him. Oh, how did it scout it? Tossed by the neck. Got flipped upside down there. Hooked up, DDT. And he's out of there in a nick of time. Down with a suplex. He grabbed the ladder. This is either going to pay off or completely backfire. And a well-executed move we just saw there. A bad place to be for the challenger. It's expected, Cole. In a triple threat match, the target on your back is twice the size. from the ropes. Shoulders down. Bate tried his best, but couldn't and avoid he elimination. He turns it around. Drop kick. Rolling into a monkey flip. McDonough lacking that surge of energy right now. Gable has his opponent figured out. And Gable had it scouted. What great agility. Big forearm. Drop kick. It's the mark. 
Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Good grief. That stop sign was like it was a Frisbee. And he sends him into the corner, right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. I don't like where this is going, and so high up. He's doing some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. Setting it up. Brain buster. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. Big forearm. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Vicious, downright savage club right there. Ooh. That was a statement maneuver if I ever saw one. Good lord, scarily close to three. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. I don't know what his plans are with that table, but it's going to hurt. What a... Farms from the second row. Driving down. And set right into the corner. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. I can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. Maybe it's a yard sale. Shot to the back, setting up for something big, but caught with an elbow. Their opponent now positioning on the top turnbuckle. But look out! Break the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Big right hand finds the mark. Plotting something painful. Huge overhead belly to belly from the ropes. Looks like setting up for a suplex. Going to finish things off. A hellacious maneuver, driving him through the table. Just goes to show you the amount of animosity that has flooded this matchup. And over the top, into a rough landing. And Gable is taking command of this one. JD needs to be resourceful in this situation. And as a couple of Hall of Famers once said, it's time to get the tables. in a point where these superstars must be hurt, must be vulnerable. And who's going to find a way to capital? Chad Gable with a German suplex not done yet, has not released. Arm still claps around the waist. A second German suplex. And a by Gable. The champ will stay champ. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. I don't want to. Chad Gable into the turnbuckle, rolling forward. Can it be? Will the rain continue? And didn't see that boot coming. And JD gets that turn back on him. Dragon screw. To great effect. Oh, costly error there. And what's he looking for here? Finds the table, and guys, I do not see the table being long for this world. Oh, runs right into the table. 
He's setting this table up, and guys, someone's about to have a really bad night. McDonough dodges. Cut off with a kick to the gut. Everyone is on their feet in this building. Absolutely showing the respect for all the exertion these athletes are putting each other through. Setting up. Do that. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. JD McDonough. Looking for something, anything under the ring. All right, okay, come on now. Is this really all that necessary? Looks like setting up for a suplex. Going to finish things off. Oh, wow! I don't know who got the worst of that, him or the table. Just I've been waiting for it the whole time. Oh, I thought the champ had it. Almost inhuman at this point. What's he open to find down there? WWE Universe wants tables. Well, they've got tables. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. Twisting cross body onto the outside. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Can Gable withstand much more of this? Let's see what McDonough can do with the opportunity. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Ooh. J.D. wants to end this right now. Countered with the knee to the face. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Oh! There's not a single person sitting in this arena. It's pandemonium, Cole. Getting set up for something in the corner. Can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. Maybe it's a yard sale. Chad Gable. But champions need to finish the job. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. These two trading counters, an absolute master class. Vicious right forearm. Looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. Shot to the back. Opponent seated on the top rope in a precarious position. Wait a second. Oh, look at the ability, athleticism. Wow. Through the table. Through the table. Just an absolute eruption. And the cover for the win. This is it. Chad Gable keeps the title. And here's another look at what made that match so special. Here is your winner, and still, WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Chad Gable! Crucial victory as he retains the title. He's definitely fought to keep his championship, and that's something he should be really proud of.
The arrogant social media star is here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 205 pounds. The WWE United States Champion, Logan Paul. We knew he was a social media phenomenon, but I don't think any of us ever imagined the aptitude Logan Paul has for sports entertainment. We've seen Logan Paul take on the top names in boxing. We've seen Logan Paul take on the top names in WWE. Logan Paul is clearly fearless. One thing's for sure, and that's Logan Paul has proven he can hang with the best of the best in WWE. Whether you like him or not, Paul brings the WWE Universe to their feet every time he steps foot in the ring. Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, just to name a few. No one sets it off like Logan Paul. We're about to see an air show. One of the best aerialists in WWE history. Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Exhilarating and inspiring. Yeah, one of the most gifted aerialists in our industry. You're right, Byron, but Ricochet knows flying around can only take you so far, which is why Ricochet also possesses a very impressive power game. Well, there is one guarantee. Ricochet knows how to captivate the WWE Universe. Two of the most athletic superstars in all of WWE, Logan Paul and Ricochet, facing each other one-on-one. -on -one. It's the social media megastar versus the highlight of the night. These two men do not like each other, but I think they have some sort of begrudging respect for one another. They know that when they face off, all eyes will be on them. Hard to imagine Logan Paul having respect for anybody. We have a point, Byron. These men can do truly magical things in the ring. Reversal after reversal, these two are ready for each other. Gotta Ooh. hurt. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage, basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. No escape from these punches. Mistake made by Logan Paul. And that failed to hit the mark. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Pump kick on target. Kick lands. Logan Paul able to avoid impact. Death Valley bomb. A warning. At Not allowing that to go on any longer. Across the top rope with a neck breaker. Ah, what a neck breaker. Logan Paul showing no fear up there. Boom! Logan Paul still relatively new to WWE. What do you think his strategy should be here? I think whatever he's doing has been working great so far. He's a born competitor with a legitimate background who already competes like a seasoned vet. I have zero notes for this kid except to not get too caught up in his own hype. And that definitely wasn't Logan's best effort. Yeah. Going up high. What in the world? This may pay off big time. Or could lead to disaster. I can't look. Then don't. Everyone else enjoy. Avalanche Spanish fly. The agonizing impact. That may well be a turning point in this match. Wicked kick to the face. Can he do it here? Close call, that was almost 
lights out. Ooh. The pace is quick and thanks to Ricochet. Yeah, some flaws in Logan Paul's game plan are being exposed. Uh-oh. What an elbow drop right to the heart. Showing that maybe Ricochet's not the only one trying to prove something. Yeah, Paul looked like a natural with that one. Ricochet just so unpredictable. Up and around, down with a tilt the world backbreaker. Oh, the elbow drop, knee crusher! And again, and again. Nothing's gonna stop it. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an upset. Shoulder up. This isn't even close to over. Able to interrupt the attack. Missed timing with that springboard. Really just laying it in. This offense causing Ricochet to wind down. Paul's impressive athleticism proving even too much for Ricochet right about now. Over and over. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Got the leg. Elbow drop to the knee. Uh oh. Repelled himself to the outside with a clothesline. It's like a heat seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring inside. A big punch finds its mark. Gets caught with a punch. Logan Paul might just have it. And now thrown back into the ring. From the outside, a frog splash. Looking for the victory. Two, digging deep for a kick out. I am in shock. What's it gonna take to keep this guy down? And Logan Paul's abilities are on full display. Logan Paul going to work like a seasoned veteran out there. The kid just gets it. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Ooh! Oh, what a kick! Saw it coming. All the way up and around the world. Crucifix head scissor. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights out. Turned around Ricochet's attack. On the move. Picking up speed. What a splash! A oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Big splash! Devastating elbow. He saw that one coming. Crucifix head scissor. He may be in a bad way here. Ricochet making it look easy. And now his confidence has got to be growing. Back Pele kick. Don't do it. Barrel roll to Bay. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. Ricochet and Logan Paul have dragged each other into the deep, deep waters, and they're both swimming. This crowd can't believe what they're witnessing. Neither can I. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Oof. And now gets tossed into the ring. Over the top rope, clutch shot, Valerian. Logan Paul. It could be over here. This is it. Oh, the champion. Showing off the championship to the WWE fans. And look who's here. 
This superstar taking interest in the champ, and the champ is saying, you want some? Come on down. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 403 pounds. Angel and Umberto Legado del Fantasma. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. As a former tag champ myself, I know when I see a championship caliber team, and this is the dictionary definition of one. Teams in their respective corners for tonight's tag team contest. In this one, it's going to be Umberto and Angel. Well, they will be facing some fierce tag team action. A shot day, the Adonis and Cedric Alexander. And trust is key to victory in a match like this. If you don't have a tag partner you can rely on, you might as well pack it in now. And there was some force on that move. Look at this, just unloading. Ooh. Oh, nasty stop to finish it off. He went right into that turnbuckle. And a hammer fist right. Can he do it here? And quick getting the arm up. Not yet. Ooh, harsh kick. Or a pump handle. Pump handle coming. Boom. Incredible suplex. Swinging neck breaker into a handstand splash. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, right across the solar plexus. There's the tag. What do these two have in mind? Double backstabber. Ouch. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. Brought in the hard way. He's starting to struggle here. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Oh, God. Ashanti the Adonis is fired up and wants this crowd to know it. Tag is made, and here we go. 
Oh, running Hurricane Rana. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Making it that much harder to stand, that much harder to fight back. He just barely dodges. Paying it right back with a reversal. Neck breaker. Strong counter from Adonis. Uh-oh. Oh, the power, the strength, of evading offense. A stalemate of counters. Ooh. An arm wrench. DDT. Boom. Oh, I can't move. Roundhouse connects. DDT. Angel didn't exactly come up big against that one. And Adonis executed that with all the confidence and authority he could muster, which was quite a bit. Counter with a vicious clothesline. Ooh. Sends the knee to the face. That'll stop you. Ooh. Angel showing his instinct. These two battling to a dead heat with these reverses. Scouted. Reversal on top of reversal. Looking wobbly in the corner. The tag. tag is made. This duo looking to make something big happen here, but just how big remains to be seen. Blockbuster! Angel is in the worst way now. The cover! Finally, it's over. Now let's take another look at these guys in action. Here are your winners, the team of Ashanti Adonis and Cedric Alexander. This pairing paying strong dividends with an impressive tag team win. That wasn't just a win, Cole. That was a top-level tag team performance. Take it from a former NXT tag champ. We are about to see something good. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio. Weighing in at 241 pounds, Mark Magna. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. You gotta be aware of Rollins' mean streak. It's ruthless and long. Rollins will do whatever it takes to win. And this superstar has got to have the same mindset.
Here's someone who always has a plan and always knows who he's dealing with. It's Seth freaking Rollins. Think of everything Seth Rollins has been through. Everything he's accomplished, he can adapt to any situation. career, Rollins has held every singles and tag team title of note in WWE. The first ever NXT champion. The first man to hold the newly minted World Heavyweight Championship. Rollins is one of the most complete competitors this <laughs> They clearly weren't expecting this, and that's what makes it so sweet. The official indicating that we're about to have a no contest. Okay, everyone, you got it out of your system. Time to get back to business. Action has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Ooh. Ooh. And he said, yeah. Take down. Whatever the cross face, it's cinched in. This could be over. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Round and round into the... Satellite DDT. When you're taking on a mastermind like Seth Rollins, the most important thing to remember is that you have to take away his ability to control the match. Pace is a good place to start. If Rollins wants things fast, slow them down. If you try... That can't be enough, can it? And only a one count. I thought he might have had him there, but it's early. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Caught with a clothesline. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Here we go. Famous from the top. And shoulders are down. Did I ain't a two count there? I didn't think this match was close to over. Stiff forearm shot. Able to... We're going to free the arm and does just that. And the counter from Rollins. And he scores a reversal on Rollins. Take down. Looking for the cross face. It's cinched in. This could be over. Seth Rollins. It We're going to free the arm and does just that. into the pin. Two! And still hanging on. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. Got him seeing shadows. Seth Rollins just getting dismantled. And look at how he's controlling the tempo. Not allowing Rollins to set the pace he wants in this match. Is it enough? There's two! He gets the shoulder up at two. He got close there. It could be do or die time. From the top, diving DDT! Planted. Into the pin attempt. Two count. And a kick out at two. This could be a tipping point in this match. is being overwhelmed. This can't be how Rollins envisioned his night going. And Seth is finally able to mount some resistance with that. Seth weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. Rollins escaping danger. Whatever you... What are they going to do here? Chattanooga! Is there any fight left in Rollins? Shoulders down. 
He's still in this fight. Wow, what a kick out. I'm amazed at the fight Seth Rollins is bringing. And you can sense the desperation mounting as that last move couldn't finish things. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. He manages to escape it. Sweet by Rollins. This match grinding it down a little. Heading up, he's thinking big. Soaring from the top. Finds the mark with a leg drop. Cover. Two. And a kick out at two. So, so close. That could have been it. Boom. And these competitors are really laying it all on the line here. You can just tell how badly they want it. Powerbomb position. Fighting out. Hammer away with punches to the face. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Put in a position now. Cutter. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. Up high. Oh, ho, ho, ho. compressing them with a splash. life and you gotta think he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time a well-timed dodge great job refocusing to reverse that From the top, top and down. Seth Rollins' chances are whittling down. Yeah, Rollins has hit a roadblock here. Bottom rope moves. That's gotta be it. Two. Shoulder up, shoulder up. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Rollins dodges in the nick of time. That'll stun you. Oh, that's that's him down. It's cinched in. This could be over. We're going to free the arm and does just that. This whole building is shaking. Matches like this. Each shot landing with a little bit more venom. Boom. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken up. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Boom. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. What a counter by Rollins. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Oh. But it's absolute what's going on with everything they've got now. And did you hear the impact of that? Who oh, I thought they were going to keep that up all night. Rollins with a head of steam. Big air. Stop! Rollins just turned the lights out. How often do you see Seth Rollins come up that short, that close? He's got to be livid right about now. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Ooh. Disbelief right now. Hey guys, on most nights Rollins would have just ended this, but not incoming. Five star frog splash. And I bet Seth's been plotting that move all match long. Visionary offense from the drip god. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. The admiration for these superstars is echoing throughout this arena right now. 
picks them up and drops them down into a DDT. Sent into the corner. This won't end well. What is this superstar thinking of now? High risk situation. Both on the top rope. Oh, swinging neck breaker. Now's the time to capitalize. The cover. Takes it. What a battle. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. Here is your winner, Mark Magna. Only one word to describe that win, guys. Grit. And it is back to the drawing board for Rollins. Yeah, but we all know you can't keep a good visionary down for long. Oh, my. Dragon screw targeting the ankle. Being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. Oh, took off the, uh, the hood of the announce table. Now there go the monitors. Bad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. Ooh. Oh, man, he is more than... It's a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael. And judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. Corey, what do you think of the champ's chances here tonight? I love them. I'm not like everybody else, Cole. It seems like everybody's ready to write the champ's demise, but not me.
The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 365 pounds, Joaquin Wyatt and Cruz Del Toro. We And their opponents at a combined weight of 501 pounds. The WWE Tag Team Champions, Jimmy Uso and Solo Sikoa, The Bloodline. Here we go, gentlemen. The tag team titles are up for grabs. Final preparations between partners before the action begins. And the referee able to get these superstars into the ring long enough to officially start the match. These teams are ready to rip each other apart. And I'm not sure the word official is even in their vocabulary right about now, Michael. Oh no, getting in position. What's he planning to do here? I have no idea how he hasn't tapped out yet. Great wherewithal and power to escape. Oh man. He catches Jimmy with a counter. Jimmy Uso commanding respect from all of the WWE Universe. Big forearm. Oh, this, this superstar using the rope as a weapon. This is uncalled for. If a shortcut presents itself, you better take it. Now's not the time to worry about rules. Now you know you're in a fight with a champion that will do whatever it takes to win. That's gonna fire you up with anger. Oof. Gets out of there. Oh, uh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. Oh, right to the throat. Tossed into the corner. The Samoa drop. Wow. Talk about being on the same page. They were on the same sins with that fine piece of work. Oh, and an elbow caught him and cleared him to the floor. And that toss got some hang time. The champ creating some distance with that move. Down the opponent. And a double axe handle smash. The challenger is not in a great place. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. right into the corner. Tag is made. Parker going up top. Uh-oh. Oh, so splash. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Got it. And they stay at top, the tag division. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof.
Here are your winners, and still, WWE Tag Team Champions, Jimmy Uso and Solo Sikoa, The Bloodline. Making their case for one of the best teams around with that win. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. Here comes a real menace in the women's division, JC Jane. JC is willing to do what's necessary and ready to be savage if she has to. If she has to, she's usually in a hurry to hurt the competition. Uh, about to learn very quickly as this woman uh, how difficult it is to contain damage control. Difficult, Cole, that might be the understatement of the year. It's practically impossible. Finally, she has put the four horsewomen in the rearview mirror and calls the shots on her own. Yeah, sadly, the hugs are long gone, and now Bailey is a brash, ruthless competitor. She popped those crappy, inflatable friends to become a bona fide role model. Yeah, it was the worst night of Byron's life. Bailey found inner rage. And listen, I know I felt her verbal tirades on live television, they're not fun. Well, you can't say that Bailey is a dominant force turned mastermind since returning at SummerSlam. And she's caused a lot of damage ever since. Introducing the challenger from Tampa, Florida, JC From San Jose, California, the WWE Women's Champion, Bayley! Tonight is about earning the privilege to hold this title, the WWE Women's Championship. You can see a burning desire in the eyes of each athlete, knowing that the top of the mountain is on the winning side of this match. Referee signals for the bell, and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. Oh! Ah, oh, saw it coming. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Paying it back with their own counter. German suplex! Close line! What impact! Contact the 
across the chest. J.C. Jay just couldn't get out of harm's way there. Bailey is being as vicious as ever, and it looks to be very effective. Counter after counter. Oh, clubbing blow to the back. Oh, close line. Here's the pin. Title on the line. A close count for the challenger. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Off the ropes. Uh-oh. Oh, ducked underneath. Instead, what a German suplex. <laughs> Up and down. What a slam. Bailey continuously executing her game plan. Yeah, JC's being completely neutralized. I have to wonder, Corey, what does one have to do to get an advantage over a veteran talent like Bailey? Plain and simple, Cole, don't let up. Don't give Bailey an inch because she will steal a mile from you. Essentially, beat Bailey in her own in-ring game and expect some underhanded tactics along the way. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Uh-oh, mistake made by Jane. Oh, the champion into the cover. No, championship match continues. It doesn't get any closer than that without the bell ringing. Oh, the challenger is in some big trouble. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Ooh, just relentless. Boom. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And JC is taking on a lot of offense now. It is all Bailey right now. Check to the back of the knee, watch this. And first, here we go. Now that is why they're the champ. Looking for the victory. Two count. These women put on quite a show. Here's another look. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Women's Champion, Bailey. She still holds the gold. A tremendous victory by the champion, showing us exactly what she's made of. Give credit to the champion. She studied her opponent and was ready for whatever was thrown her way to retain their title. One of the most dominant competitors in NXT history. TikTok Doomsday has arrived.
Just a prelude to the unrelenting attack we are about to see from Karrion Cross. Evil has been unmasked. After a decade of destruction, the WWE Universe finally able to look into the eyes of fear itself. And his opponents, first from the pits of hell, weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! You know, for years, WWE fans wondered what was under the mask. Now they probably regret even asking what was under the mask. I'm not gonna lie, I actually kinda miss the mask. Saxton, are you calling Kane ugly? No, 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 that's not what I said. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Kane. That's not what I meant. The monster of all monsters is here. And from Sheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds. Braun Strowman has a mean streak a mile long. Yeah, and a proven history of not playing well with others. Out to barrel through the opposition. The Strowman Express stops for nobody. Well, this man is six foot three, 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest man in WWE. And from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. This is how you make an entrance, carrying yourself with the utmost poise and pride. Lashley holds himself to the highest standards. It's propelled him to multiple world titles and main events. The presence of Bobby Lashley is not a figment of your imagination. There's no filter on a social media app needed. Bobby Lashley is as real as it gets. Hey, he's a peak physical specimen. Proud U.S. Army veteran who's dominated sports entertainment for nearly two decades. And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. Oh, wow. Just a nasty headbutt. Oh, the one-handed. An awesome display of confidence from the big red machine. And well-timed maneuver there. And that was an effective attack, guys. He's returning fire. A sharp knee. Cross fires back. Mario pump handle. Pump handle coming. Boom. Incredible suplex. Byron, would 
you agree that in a matchup like this, you have to move quickly and know when to seize the opportunity? Absolutely. That could be the difference maker. The windows of opportunity are so small in this environment. You're being at the right place at the right time to pick up the scraps is the way to go. Oh, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. Look, the most intelligent competitor in battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. And he's out of there in the nick of time. Carrying Cross, looking to deliver the final trip. Will Braun come back from that? Is it enough? The car! There's two! Eliminated! Is that in here? He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. Kicked off, got some room. Cross looking for the high risk move. And from the top. Meanwhile, it's Cross. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. He's absorbed some damage already. I think Cross just advanced the count on the doomsday clock with that attack. Oh, he's got the mandible claw. This could be it. Oh, down by the DDT. Oh. I oh, had that well scouted. Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come from this. Oh! Boom! <laughs> Can't quite get him there. Oh! One wicked attack after another. And you can tell there are cruel intentions in mind right now. Crucial turnaround there because Kane was falling behind. Yeah, Kane's survival instincts are taking over. Series of reversals. Uh oh. Yokes up their opponent. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. Lashley is now under pressure. You know, when Cross is going like this, you know you're in immediate danger. Vicious right for him. Oh, oh man. Neckbreaker. Boom. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. And he's obviously prepared for this as he goes for the ladder. Let's get it on. And he slides him back to the mat. Oh, kendo stick wrapped around the head. Reversal on Lashley. Oof, point of the elbow counters out. He got whipped into that corner. And that was a first-hand example of a dirty attack. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. He's got a weapon now, and he knows how to use it. TikTok Doomsday has arrived. Cross jacket submission locked in. It's cinched in. I think we're just moments away from seeing a tap out. We're hearing a snap. Try not to fade. Delivers a harsh elbow. Oh, a big boot. Into the cover. Oh.
great, man. This is vicious. He's doing some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. Bam! He eludes the contact. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Driven through the ground. He thinks he has it. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. by Cross. This is gonna hurt. Cross with the doomsday Saito. This could do it. Almost ended it there. That is just pure instinct at this point. Boom. Lashley just got out of there. Slips out of the way. He's able to sidestep there. Good timing with that reversal. is trending. Forget trending on social media. The motion in the arena is charting on the ring. This is getting out of control. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, the table. Carrying Cross with the final prayer. Cross might have ended this for the win. There's two. He kicks out somehow. The almighty roaring back from the brink of defeat. How is he still in this? And Cross with a look of absolute fury on his face. He doesn't like being defied and really thought he had this one here. One step ahead of Cross. Uh-oh. Got a forearm. Oh, square shot, but the back elbows ends that. Cross out of harm's way. He's got him scouted. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Denied and reversed into a DDT. Guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. Off oh, position and top right heading up there. This is not going to be good. It could be catastrophic.
the WWE Universe is on their feet. Showing respect for the game. The cerebral assassin. Few men have ever commanded attention like Triple H. I've been at this table for decades, and I've never seen a competitor this dominant. Month in, month out, Reigns continues to dominate. Yeah, but think about this, Corey. The man who finally puts a loss in Roman's record will become immortal. It's bold of you to think he'll even lose. Well, even with the competition at this level, you might be right. Without saying, toppling the game can define this man's career, but it will also take a monumental effort to defeat Triple H.
Hoping that handoff to the referee won't be the last time he sees his championship. The most glorious title in the world of sports entertainment.
There is position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. Nasty. Oh, there it is, part of the ring. Steer turn it back. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Roman Reigns and Triple H are certainly putting on a clinic. Feed off the WWE Universe. This place is starting to rock. He reverses it. The game, Triple H with a couple of punches, going to now reverse whip his opponent across. Level 
These guys getting after it. Here is your winner, and the undisputed WWE successful title defense for him tonight.